चैप्टर थ्री सुगेंग मेक सम फ्रेंड्स दी नेक्स्ट डे एडी गेफ हिम हिज फर्स्ट जॉब ही ओएंट विथ कार्डी टू ईटिंग प्लेसेस कार्डी वॉज हिज फ्रेंड नाउ दे क्लीन पीपल शूज दे हैड टू गिव हाफ ऑफ द मनी टू एडी दे केप द रेस्ट फॉर दैम सेल्फ्स Sugeng was happier but he wanted to be with his family after a few days adi gave him some newspapers to sell sugeng walked with ian to they tried to sell the newspapers for a lot of money they could sell the newspapers for 50 rupees and they could still have some money for themselves but they always asked for 100 rupees sometimes people gave them a 100 when this happened sugeng and ianto had a big meal ianto's mother and father were dead he lived in his brother's house sugeng sometimes went there to sleep on other nights he slept under a bridge One day, when Su Gang was on the street with his newspapers, a man walked past. Su Gang looked at him. "That's my father," thought Su Gang. He ran after the man. The man walked into a busy shop. Su Gang could not see him. He waited outside and he looked at every face. Then he saw the man again. The man came nearer. Sugeng ran to him. "Father," he cried. The man looked down at him. Sugeng stopped. It was not his father. Sugeng felt very sad. He walked slowly away. "My father and mother are dead," he thought. "I am alone now." The next morning, Adi said to Sugeng. Come with us. We have got another job. Sugeng, Kadi, Adi, and Ian to went into a shop. Adi said to the man in the shop, "I want to see some knives." The man went to get some knives, and he showed them to Adi. Adi talked to the man, and they looked at the knives. Kadi went near the back of the shop. The man could not see Kardi there but Sugeng was him Kardi took something and put it under in his shirt These knives are too expensive said Adi I will look in another shop and they all walked out of the shop Have you got it Adi asked Kardi pulled out a screwdriver from under his shirt He gave it to Adi Good said Adi but you didn't give the man any money for it said Sugeng Adi just laughed Sugeng did not say anything more but he did not feel very happy they walked to the market in front of the market Adi said Kadi Yando you know what to do Sugeng you stay with me watch what they do You can learn a lot from this boys. Kadi and Ian to walked among the people in front of the market. They walked near a woman with a bag. Kadi pushed her a little and Ian to pulled her back. The woman held on to her bag. She called out loudly. People turned to look at her. Someone tried to take my bag, she said. Kadi and Ian to laugh. They ran down the street. Some people called, "Stop! Stop!" Others ran after them. But Kadi and Ian to were too fast. Everyone in the street looked at Kadi and Ian to and at the woman. Adi said to Sugeng, "Now no one is watching us." He walked to a car. He took the screwdriver and he began to take the small mirror of the side of the car. 
Sugeng was very surprised. What are you doing, Addy? He said. Then a man came to the car. He saw Addy and Sugeng. Hey, that's my car. What are you doing with my mirror? Addy turned. He gave the screwdriver to Sugeng. Run, said Addy. And he ran quickly among the people in front of the market. At first, Sugeng was too surprised to run. But then he tried to follow Addy. It was too late. He felt a hand on his arm. Chapter 4 Sugeng finds a new home. I have got you, the man said. He held Sugeng with one hand. He started to hit him with the other. By this time, there was a policeman in front of the market. He came because of the noise. He saw Sugeng and the man. What's happening here? He said. This boy tried to take the mirror from my car. Look, he has a screwdriver. Come with me, said the policeman. Sugeng was too afraid to say anything. The policeman took Sugeng to the police station. The man came with them. At the police station, the man told his story and then he went away. The policeman asked Sugeng some questions. What's your name? Where did you get this screwdriver? Where do you come from? Sugeng was afraid. He could not speak. Do you come from this town? The policeman asked. No, said Sugeng. What's the name of your village? Sugeng told him. The policeman thought for a few minutes. Come with me, he said. He took Sugeng to a small room and he left him there. There was only one small window in the room. Sugeng was alone. He thought about his family. He thought about his home on the mountain. He was very unhappy. Sugeng was all alone. All my family is dead. I don't have a home. I have nothing, he thought. Then he heard the policeman again. Sugeng was not afraid. He had nothing. What could he lose? The policeman came into the room. Is your name Sugeng? He said. The policeman have Addy and the others, Sugeng thought. Yes, he answered. The policeman said. Your father and mother are looking for you. Sugeng was surprised. They are alive? He asked. Yes, said the policeman. The fire from the mountain burned your village. The government is building another village in a different place. Your family is there now. But why did you have that screwdriver? Why were you near the car? Now Sugeng was really afraid. His family was alive, but he could not go to them. Tell me, said the policeman. I can help you. Sugeng told his story and the policeman understood. That afternoon, the policeman took Sugeng in his jeep to the new village. On the way, they drove past the market. Sugeng saw Eddie. Yanto and Cardi. They were near the market. But Sugeng did not say anything to the policeman. The policeman wanted to catch Addy. But still Sugeng did not say anything. Addy and Yanto and Cardi were his friends. The people in the new village come out of their houses when they hear the jeep. They laugh. Sugeng saw Addy. Yanto and Cardi. They called out when they saw Sugeng. He laughed too and he called out to his old friends. Then the jeep stopped and Sugeng saw his family. He ran to them. Sugeng means happy or safe. Now Sugeng was happy and safe.